Okay, I think this is recording. Let me double check. Yep, it's recording. All right, so here we go. Uh, a little homework help for you guys. First day back. Gave you guys some homework. I heard you didn't get a whole lot of homework. But boy, that's going to change with me, huh? <laughs> okay. So uh, I wanted you guys to finish. Um, let's see. This was uh, it was chapter chapter 11, 11.1. And that's what I wanted you guys to finish. We did uh, a little more than half of it, I think, in class. So uh, I pulled up this page here uh, because I think that's the third page in in your uh, the handout that I gave you. You guys will probably need that. And uh, so what page? I think it was on four. Well, in the handout, it's 467. So I wanted you guys to finish these. It was seven, eight, nine, and ten, and there was one page after that. So let's look at seven here really quick. It says name each polygon and then tell whether it's a regular polygon or not a regular polygon. Well, um, we gotta name each one. Well, how do, you, how do you figure out the name of this polygon? Well, first off, how many sides does it have here? Let's count them off here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a terrible six. Seven. So I see seven sides here. Well, so we can come over here, and again, this would be on page three in your book. Uh, what, what has seven sides? Well, this one right here, a heptagon. So what's the name of this? It's a heptagon. H-E-P-T-G-O-N. Heptagon. Okay. And then it says, is it a regular polygon or not a regular polygon? Well, how do you... What's a, what's a regular polygon? Well, again, if you were to go... I think it's maybe page four of the handout that I gave you. Not page... Well, it's... It's physically the page for the page number. I'm not really sure. Anyways, um, a regular polygon, all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. So let's look at this one here. Are all the sides congruent? In other words, are they all the same length in this octagon? Yes, they are. So, um, and then it says, are all the angles congruent? So is, do each one of these little angles have the same measure? Okay, so whatever that measure would be, um, 22 degrees, I'm not really sure. Uh, they would all have to be the same, and so that would be a regular polygon. So let's come back over to this one here. So this is a heptagon, it's got seven sides here, and I'm looking at each angle, and I would say each angle here is the same. Okay, so um, it would be a what? A regular polygon. So do a semicolon there. Regular polygon. Okay, uh, how about this one here? Number eight, it says um, name each polygon. Well, how many sides does it have? One, whoops, it's kind of sloppy here. Whoa, what happened? Is it still recording? I hope it is. Yes, I think it is. I hope so. Um, there we go. So, um, how many sides does it have? Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. What has six sides? A hexagon. Okay. Forgive the sloppy writing. I had a stroke and an aneurysm. <laughs> and then, uh, is it a regular polygon or not a regular polygon? So, for it to be a regular polygon, what do we have to have? All the sides have to be the same length and all the angles the same measure. Well, this, this right here, so here's an angle. It's got two lines. Here's another angle with two lines, two lines. Here's an angle with one line designating that there is an angle there. So um, they don't, I don't think they explain that in the book anywhere uh, or the handout that I gave you, but that denotes or that means that these angles are not the same measure. So this is not a regular polygon. Okay, so um, I think you guys are kind of 
getting this. You should be able to do these on your own here. So how many sides does this have? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Five sides. Well, what has five sides over here? It's a pentagon. Are all the sides the same length? Well, no, obviously not. Look at this. Here's one. Look at this long one right here, or this really short one right here. So no. So you know it's not a regular polygon. Number 10 here. What have we got? How many sides? One, two, three, four, five. Five again. So it's a pentagon. Now look at how uh, they've marked all the angles just with a single line. Okay, so that would tell me probably all the angles are the same measure. And um, these marks here tell me that all the lengths of the sides are identical also. If they had a shape that had, well look at this one here. See it has two lines. This, this side has one line. That would tell you, that would denote that they're two different lengths. Okay? All right, next page. Um, I don't know, I think they kind of made it harder than it, than it, it needs to be, but, um, let's see here, um, 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 where am I at here? So it says, uh, which polygons in the floor plan have four equal sides and four congruent angles, and how many of these polygons are there? Okay. Well, um, so what they're talking about are these. All right, each one of those. So there's one, here's two right there, there's a third one, there's a fourth one, okay. So they're talking about those squares with the X inside of them. That's what they're talking about, okay? Or that's what they want you to see, rather. So, um, um, which polygons in the floor plan have four equal sides and four congruent angles? How many of these polygons are there? So they're regular quadrilaterals. Don't say regular squares. Now, I corrected you guys in class about this. So it's a regular quadrilateral. So quad means four. Quadrilateral. All right. And um, and how many are there? So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight of them. All right. Um, and then 12, it says, is there a quadrilateral in the floor plan that is not a regular polygon? Okay, name that quadrilateral and tell how many of the quadrilaterals are in the floor plan. Well, the answer to this one is yes. Oh, did I do it? Uh-oh. Is it still recording? Depending on, I gotta be careful how I touch this thing here. Um, I hope it's still recording. So 13. I'm running out of time here. I don't want this to be video to be too long here. So 13. Or, oh, we're on 12. 12. The answer is yes. Okay. And then um, trapezoid. So I'll let you look up what a trapezoid is. You can see that in your in your handout. And how many of them are there? Okay, how many of them are there? And then 13, um, sketch eight points that are vertices of a closed plane figure. Yeah, I'm not worried about 13. You don't have to do that one. And then, uh, I didn't get the full picture here. So, um, yeah. Some of it's cut off. Um, 14. Um, let's see here. Look at the angles for all the regular polygons. As the number of sides increases, do the measure of the angles increase or decrease? What pattern do you see? Um, and 
Yeah, I'm not worried about 14 either. Hopefully you guys are going to look at this video. I'm not worried about 14 either. We'll talk about that in class tomorrow. Uh, 15 you can do. You guys can do 15. There's 15A and 15B. Um, and it's in reference to a figure that somebody by the name of Kayla drew. So you guys can do 15. I think that's it. All right. I'm done with this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow.